Or wait, wait a minute. Piper, start again. Start again. Project your voice. We, I couldn't hear you. Come back here. Welcome to our play, The Children of the Chocolate Street. We hope you enjoy the play. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why, but I don't like this candy store. Krebs Candy Kitchen. Look, now a Christmas decoration in the whole place. And I'm sure this is where Mother told us to pick up her Christmas candy. Candy! Oh boy! How I love it! Any candy smells good to me. What are we going to buy? Don't you think of anything but your stomach. We didn't come here to get candy for ourselves. Mother ordered all her Christmas candy from Mrs. Krebs. Some red mite mints, candy canes, and buttercream. Don't we get any candy now? Oh, I'm sure Miss Krabs will give us a sample. You know Miss Mammy always did in that little store that used to be near us. Miss Mammy gave me a lot of fun. Say, I don't want to... <coughs> Hush, John, I hear someone, and I think he's coming out. Well, you three have been here a long time by yourselves. I hope you haven't been stealing my candy. Oh, <laughs> you, Mrs. Mrs. Crab would be a better name. <laughs> Hush, John. Hi, I'm Jamie Barclay. We came here for my mother's Christmas sorting. Red and white men, candy canes, and... I know what she wrote, but you'll have to wait. I haven't put the Christmas orders in the boxes yet. I'll go back to the kitchen and pack them now. I hate to leave you three alone with all this Christmas stuff in the store. You just can't trust children. <laughs> Gee, if your candy is as good as your tongue, we don't want it. <laughs> John, that's rude. Sorry, Miss Krebs. You can trust us. I hate to do it, but don't you two touch anything in this store. We won't, Miss Krebs. We'll just love. And we can start looking right here. Whoever sees any box like this. No, I don't think so. <coughs> Peter's and Josh. Isn't that a cute name? I like the picture on the top of the box. Look. There's a street with a house that it made of chocolate, and there are. There are lollipop man puzzles, well, and plums, and happy retreats in order we roll. Chocolate Street is the place to go. Guys, did you hear that? That's what I do. just want to say. Someone took the word right out of my mouth. children. I hope you didn't touch anything. No, only this box of candy. I told you children to keep your hands off. What box? <laughs> this one, <laughs> this is vegan chocolate. No, not that again. The houses are candy bars long and low.
what in the world? I think she heard that voice and she's scared silly. Be more quiet. Anyways, you got a nice box of candy. Get in Foxy. Well, what's to stop us from having some? I guess it's all right. If Mrs. As long as Mrs. Krebs gave it to us. I like the picture on the top of the box. Oh. I like the chocolate most of all if I can find one. Here's a chocolate marshmallow. Yep, it is kind of pretty. You know what it looks like? Like a village under a Christmas tree. Or maybe a place in Fairyland. I sure would like to do a chocolate tree. Just think the house they are made of chocolate ball. And a lamp with a lollipop. And the trees are peppermint sticks. to Chocolate Street. I did, Candy Fairy? Of course, your little mom did the trick, Janie. You mean I worked the magical by myself? Only at Christmas time could it ever happen, Janie. Look. It may interest you to know that we have had our eyes on Miss Krebs for a long time. She certainly was here when she heard you sing those rhymes about Chocolate Street. Yes, I think we worried her considerably. Then let's worry us some more. Very well, but first we must make us all invisible. One web of our magic peppermint wand. And presto! <coughs> now she's hard, but Mrs. Krebs and any customers won't be able to see us. Here comes somebody else, somebody else now, Candy Berries. Let's stand over here, children, and watch. for you. I'm very busy in my kitchen. Hurry up now. What do you want? Miss Krebs, I found you dimes on the street and I've never tasted one of those chocolates like you have in the window and and... Well, so what? I thought I was hoping... Oh, could you just sell me one of those delicious chocolates with these two dimes? Sell you one half of my delicious chocolates? Well, of all the north, of course not. But Mrs. Krebs, it is Christmas Eve. And don't I know it, with all the work I have to do in my kitchen. Now go on, get out. Come on, children, you say your rhyme. The people are kind on Chocolate Street. They don't mind giving a child to you. The more the child, the more they give. That's the way that people should live. What was that? Radio? My radio? No, of course not. Oh, yes, it was my radio. I'll put cotton in my ear so I won't hear it. It has to be a radio. It's your conscience, Miss Krebs, and it speaks for years. You can't shut it out by closing your ears. No, it can't be. Go away. Go away. Congratulations, Janie. Good work, children. Now look at Mrs. Krebs. Here, child, here. Take your half piece of candy. Take it, only get out. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Krebs. Here are my two dimes. You can't take, you can't take the child's money. I can't stand it. Here, take two, two, what, your half piece of candy. Take two candies, take a whole pound, and keep your dimes. Oh, wonderful, a whole pound of candy. Thank you so much, Mrs. Krebs. Have a Merry Christmas. Last Christmas. 
Christmas. He's 90 years old and she says she has never had enough chocolate greens in her whole life. <laughs> we wanted to buy a whole pound just for her to go. But $16, there's a rent and the rent goes <coughs> too today. I guess we just can't afford it. Oh, how I wish we could buy this special treat for Grandmother. We just can't afford it with all her other bills. The very idea of you taking my time and not buying anything. children. We are here to look for a special gift. We want some candy for some poor children. Our scout troops are fixing gift boxes for the poor children. We would love to include some of your delicious chocolates. <coughs> we want to make this a special day for these children. We have been working hard to collect money. We have been saving our money too. How much money do you have? We only have $7.50. You expect to buy delicious candies for that? Take all you want for the poor children. Take this tin of salt to nuts. These chocolate bars. And this expensive assortment. Scout troops see this. They won't believe their eyes. This will be the best gift ever. Thank you, Mrs. Krabs. Merry, Merry Christmas. Good evening, Mrs. Krabs. My children would like to buy a lollipop. Oh no, I'll give it to them. I'd love to give away candy, especially at Christmas. Wow, this is the biggest lollipop I've ever seen. It sure to look yummy. I can't wait to show mom. What how nice of you, Mrs. Cubs. Come on, children, let's invite my and Mrs. Cubs. Have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, Miss Krebs. Merry Christmas. <coughs> Here's your mother's Christmas soda, boys. Yes, I'm glad you helped yourselves. It's a Christmas present from the Krebs Candy Kitchen. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Krebs. You have a nice, very nice Christmas. A nice Christmas. <coughs> Here's your mother's Christmas soda, boys. The voice is lovely. The voice is lovely. 
I got a lot to do to get ready for tomorrow. Isn't it wonderful? Now Miss Krebs won't be crabby anymore. Candy Fairy, your magic is wonderful. It's the magic of Christmas, children. Well, I've had a nice Christmas. How about you guys? Oh, but you know, I'm still a little bit sorry that we didn't get the chocolate tree. Remember the house of the little man with chocolate balls and, pep and the little peppercorn trees? And we didn't get any of it. <laughs> but you didn't find these this evening, children. And we still have the goodies from Chocolate Street Box. And you know what we can do on empty, don't you? No, what? We can come right back down to the candy kitchen. That old club. Janie. My name is Allie Smith and I play Fairy too. My name is Levi Allen and I play Janie. 